Have you ever pondered the mysteries held within the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation? A beacon of intrigue and mystery, it stands alone, shrouded in enigma. It's a cryptic juxtaposition of reality and prophecy, of earthly existence and celestial divinations. It's a tome that whispers of cataclysm, of a world in turmoil, and of ultimate redemption. Its verses are a labyrinth, each one a riddle wrapped in a mystery. Join us as we delve into the depths of this enigmatic book. The book of Revelation begins with a vision, a prophecy bestowed upon John, an apostle of Jesus Christ. In the solitude of his exile on the island of Patmos, John found himself in the grip of divine inspiration. The heavens opened and before him unfolded a spectacle of celestial proportions. There he beheld seven golden lampstands, their light piercing the veil of the mundane, illuminating the divine. In the midst of these lampstands was a figure, a presence like a son of man. This entity was clad in a robe reaching to his feet, a golden sash cinched around his chest. The figure's countenance was as brilliant as the sun in its strength, and his voice echoed with the resounding force of cascading waters. This was no ordinary vision, it was a divine revelation, a message from the heavens themselves. The lampstands, John would come to understand, represented the seven churches to which he was to address his prophetic writings. The figure, like a son of man, embodied the divine authority and majesty of Christ himself. The vision was a catalyst, an impetus for John to share these revelations, these prophecies, with the world. Each symbol, each image held profound meaning, a message to the seven churches and by extension to all of humanity. The vision was not just a sight, but a message, a divine revelation to be shared with all. The vision also included seven stars, representing the angels of seven churches, and seven golden lampstands, symbolizing the seven churches of Asia. Each star and lampstand is a beacon, a divine signal, pointing towards a congregation of believers, each with their unique challenges and triumphs. The Book of Revelation, while layered with complex imagery and symbolism, serves as a direct message to these churches. It is a divine missive crafted in the ethereal realm intended to guide, warn and inspire. The seven churches spread across the ancient lands of Asia stand as testament to the enduring power of faith even in the face of tribulation. The book of Revelation, despite its cryptic nature, is a testament to the power and majesty of God. It's an eternal reminder that even in darkness there is always a divine light guiding us. The book of Revelation, a divine message wrapped in symbolism and mystery, continues to captivate us, reminding us of the eternal power and majesty of God.